Hey, I'm Tammy with Mystic Planet in Oregon in the United States. And I'd like to share with you my story with microdosing Cappy Pure Vine only. When I started microdosing about a year ago in 2018, I started out with just, you know, five drops under my tongue. And then I, you know, that night I went to bed and I was feeling kind of like, hmm, I feel kind of good inside. And then I noticed throughout the week that I would kind of have these ups and downs like this in my emotions and feelings of love and the next week, week I was up a little bit higher and then the next week I was up a little bit higher and by the fourth week I was just feeling this incredible love and I would just stare out my window and just go like man I love life this is just so awesome well the reason I started microdosing was because I had heard that it helps with creativity and I was like I really need some creativity in my life. I have this mental block and what can I do, what can I do to fix this? So when I put my intention into the microdosing drops, I asked the Madre, which is, a, which is ayahuasca, and we affectionately call her the Madre, and I said, my intention is for creativity. Well, after this month had gone by, I hadn't had any creativity, and so I said, Madre, I love feeling love. This is amazing. I just love it, but I want creativity. And so she's like, okay, and boom, all of a sudden, doors opened everywhere I turned. It was just amazing, and I felt like my hand was being held the whole time as I was on this creative process and created Mystic Planet. And so here I am a year later, talking with you, sharing my experience, and sharing the experiences of others. Hi, Penny Petman here, owner of Divine Spirits. Um, I just wanted to make this um, my own personal testimonial for microdosing uh, pure vine Banisteriopsis capi. And I'm incredibly grateful to this amazingly wise, intelligent, spiritual plant for everything it's given me and my family and obviously my customers. Um, so on a personal note, the reason that I started microdosing was to continue to build on the relationship I had already started with this plant through ayahuasca ceremonies last year in 2018, and um, which were really incredibly powerful of their own accord. But when I left there, I wanted to continue the work I'd already started. and. The first thing I noticed, aside from the um, wonderful visuals I got at night time for the first six days, um, was that I felt really, really creative, really fired up and juicy with ideas. Um, I came straight back and started writing my own website, um, writing all sorts of things. that It was writing itself, actually. Um, so I really felt like I was channeling something um, to a degree. So that was the first thing that I noticed. Um, also, this whole year has been really challenging, like incredibly, I've weathered a lot, a lot of storms uh, this year. Enough really to set um, your, your teeth on edge. And um, what's been really remarkable is actually how calm I've been through all of these storms and how much I have felt um, that everything really is okay. There's been a real, a, a real deep feeling that everything's, every, everything's fine. And um, it's like I'm held by this plant. It's like I'm receiving a hug. Um, I always feel like I'm, I almost have a best friend with me all the time. Um, so that's a really powerful, beautiful feeling to feel like you're not alone and you're connected somehow to some some collective consciousness um, that can be used for so, so much good. Um, the other thing that I have found really, really powerfully helpful is being a clairsentient and an empath. Um, is, is a wonderful thing, it's a gift, and it's very useful for me as a coach because it means I can literally feel other people in my system, so whatever they're feeling, whatever they're going through, I can feel it in, inside of me. Um, that's 
a gift, as I said, but on a personal note, it can be a bit of a challenge um, because I haven't always been able to manage that and sometimes it can be overwhelming. So um, microdosing with Cappy has almost kind of put you in a bit of a love bubble um, where you have the ability to switch that on or off and it kind of acts like it sort of quietens the noise from everything that's going on from all that information that would be normally coming at me um, it quietens it and that allows me to feel myself what's going on for me what I want and my own truth um, which is obviously really really important to do because um, well, aside from anything else, I'm an authenticity coach, so um, it's really important that I actually know what my truth and my desires and so forth are. And like I said, it's not stopped me feeling other people at all. It just gives me that choice um, and it makes it so much more comfortable. It kind of gives you a bit more of a level of confidence when you're around other people because you're not sort of swayed around as much. Um, so that's been really powerful. Um, the overwhelming sense of peace I've had um, in what would typically be anxiety-fueled situations has been phenomenal. Um, and then aside from that, there's my family. So um, my mum has Parkinson's, which is a neurodegenerative disease, um, which is all about a deficiency in dopamine and as you know this is really good for dopamine and serotonin levels so what that has done for her is it's allowed her to um, increase the time between her medications um, it's held her it's kind of allowed her to go longer on her dopamine before it's all depleted which is really valuable 25 years she's had this so we're really excited about what that might do um, long term for her. So it's not very long she's been taking this for and she's already seen that that is available, which is wonderful. And my dad, um, he is on the Cappy with Cat's Claw Blend and um, he's actually got prostate cancer. He's been um, holding that at bay uh, for the last three years. It's quite a, um, quite a nasty one. But he's been able to hold that at bay himself with his own diets and so forth. But he has been finding that one of the things for him is that he really struggles with sleep. He always has done. Um, but with the, the prostate cancer, there's been very frequent bathroom breaks, um, which disturbs his sleep, which is obviously desperately needs when you're trying to recover from something like cancer. Um, so, yeah... The bathroom breaks are, were wearing him out, frustrating him. As soon as he uh, was get, getting up, he'd then get into um, ruminating and, you know, stressing and so forth. And um, the within probably a week, I think it was about a week, and he's on his second bottle now, so this is holding. Uh, within a week, he was getting down to only maybe one or two bathroom breaks from Lord knows how many. And what was even better that is that um, after he'd got up, he was able to get straight back off to sleep again, um, which is just so, so, so incredible. Uh, so that's great. And then obviously I've got some wonderful testimonials from customers who have used this to help them to decrease and subsequently get off um, depression, uh, medication and bipolar medication and I'm not suggesting that you should do that or everyone should do that but um, I'm just relaying what they're doing and what they're saying um, if you, uh, this is something that you want to do really recommend you working with a doctor or a functional doctor to um, see if that might be something that's, that you might want to do as well um, so some incredible stories out there, um, experiences out there, and um, I hopefully my testimonial about what I'm personally getting out of it as well has been of use to you. Thank you for listening. 
Hi, this is Sam in Nashville, and I'd like to talk about these copy vine drops. Now, this is not a tincture. This is actually the essence of the ayahuasca vine boiled down. And the reason this is legal is it contains no DMT. So it's a wonderful supplement that you can order through the U.S. mail with no problem. Of course, the ayahuasca drink that you take at a ceremony is a mixture of the ayahuasca vine plus the leaf of chacruna, which contains the DMT and provides the journey experience. So while this doesn't provide that kind of visionary journey and experience, it does contain a lot of great plant alkaloids that are healthy for your brain. And it's a natural antidepressant and mood booster. And that's why I use it and I recommend it. Thanks. What's up? So I'm working with a broken selfie stick right now, so I may end up fumbling this a little bit to turn it off and on. But uh, my name's Jacob, I'm from Seattle. I'm actually down here in Olympia right now. Uh, as you can see, it's a beautiful, mostly cloudy day in the Pacific Northwest. But uh, I just wanted to take some time to share with you my experience microdosing B copy, also known as the ayahuasca vine. Um, it's been a pretty fantastic experience for me. When I initially started working with the medicine, it was to stay close to the vine uh, in between ceremonies. And that's definitely been the case, but I find, I've found that it, it really it's helping me on a subtle level with a lot of a lot of stuff that I've been working through existentially. Um, you know, these last few years have really been a time for me to uh, learn how to live from the heart instead of the mind. Um, you know, overcoming a lot of existential frustration, uh, overcoming a lot of negative thought patterns, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And I think that the 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 time that I've spent microdosing the vine has been really important for that evolution of my journey um, just in, in the way that it, it helps anchor me in the present moment helps kind of keep me out of my mind it also amplifies my thoughts and emotions both good and bad and I think that that really has ultimately helped me to become more of an observer of my of my human experience um, but anyway you can go online in the Facebook groups you can go on the internet search microdosing ayahuasca and you can find a lot of different testimonials and experiences from people everything from you know relieving depression to helping with sleep etc etc and I think that there's there's validity to all of those experiences and um, you know but what I what one piece of advice I would give you if you're considering this is to enter into the experience with the vine without any expectation expectations just like you would with any other uh, plant medicine you're working with um, you know it's 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 an intelligent plant spirit and it, it has a way of kind of looking at your experience from a bird's bird's eye perspective and you know most people know that ayahuasca is an extremely powerful diagnostic and healing tool and I think that that realistically when I look at my my experience microdosing that's what I've seen the most is the way that it kind of assesses my energy field, assesses my experience, and then goes to work on what I'm needing. And it may not even be what I was wanting. Um, so that's why I say, go into the experience with your arms open, willing to receive healing without any expectations. And I think, uh, I think you'll be very, very pleased. Thank you. Hello, uh, my name is Fred. I live in Ireland. I'm doing this testimonial for um, the use of ayahuasca. I don't know if I pronounce it properly. Um, and I wanted to basically let you know how does ease affect me um, in a very good way. Um, I started um, a month and a half ago and I've done the first Saturday day and then a break and then I've just restarted again. Um, what I can say is the first 10 days, um, I really have felt a big change. Um, the first day I felt a bit dizzy, um, but not in, in a very bad way. 
Um, and um, then I start feeling happy, um, more relaxed. I have, I have a, a lot of anger issue, in deep-rooted anger issue in my life. And I would normally snap um, when, when something um, does bother me. But now um, I realize that when something comes up, um, I feel the emotion coming up and I kind of reflect on it um, and I let it go um, and it soothes me down um, and it make me, I, I would dare to say that it make me a bit smarter um, because my reactions are changing and my interaction with others also are changing and is affect me positively um, and um, there is I don't know there is a I would say there is a kind of magic to this drop um, I don't know it's it's look like it's very intelligent and you use your own feeling or mind process and the kind of um, regulate it, um, put it back together, and um, it makes you uh, a more happy person and a more uplifted. And um, yeah, so that's my um, testimonial for this ayahuasca um, drop. Um, and I would know I would not hesitate to recommend to anyone to to take some um, because it really help um, if you have any doubt just have a try seriously it will make change it will change your life a bit I mean depending how how much you how much belief you want to put in it I hope it's helped for you. Good luck. Good morning. I'm Chris Brown. I'm going to do a little video testimony about my microdosing experience with Cappy, Vine, and Cat's Claw. I began including the microdosing that I got from Mystic Planet. I began including that to my spiritual practices really believing at the time and still uh, in these plant medicines um, I was hoping that they would bring me help me in creating and maintaining more of a heart mind get out of my head and more into my heart so my start date was June 29th of this year I've since been on my 30 day off. It wasn't as bad as I anticipated. Yay! I have since started back up on the Cappy and Cat's Claw microdose. And the intention that I set, first of all, I didn't know what intention to set. Just help me, help me, help me. Um, I believe that the microdose actually helped me find my intention, which is to help me with the ease of being able to see, hear, feel, speak, and when I touch people, touch, uh, from my heart, more loving. More seeing things in love, hearing things in love. Um, and what I noticed more and more um, is that I, I'm hearing from the collective consciousness. Um, the collective consciousness that is all from source of all that is love. And... 
I'm grateful. Very grateful. Okay. Hey, Heidi, yes. what has been your experience with microdosing the copy vine? The copy vine. Um, it's been beautiful. I notice that it gives, it's very subtle, very subtle, and I like that. Um, very different than ceremony where you just got to go all the way and really deep and really high and all over the place until you come right here. The copy vine just kind of comes in and goes right here, but it's really just a gentle little like, and I noticed I was kind of reading and watching some of the comments on the microdosing page, and I noticed that sometimes it seems like people are looking for something, like they're expecting to feel a certain way, or wait, why is this, or this stuff's coming up, or what? just drop all expectation. It's all a part of the process, and it will show you exactly what you need to see, even if you don't necessarily want to see it, but you need to see it. And it's really like heart -looking. That's all. Hey, what's up? My name is Tara from Montreal. I just wanted to leave this testimonial as I go and get my ayahuasca drops. Um, these have been amazing for me and I'm actually a little sensitive to them. So I didn't take them for the past month and I noticed I was kind of going on a downward spiral. Um, I didn't feel connected at all. I've been kind of on a low depression, negative thinking, and so the other day, I was like, oh, I'm going to go for my eye drops. So I went, I took them, and hold Honestly, maybe because I'm sensitive to it, but by midday, I could feel my entire body feeling completely connected. I could feel it going through my veins. Um, I just, my heart bursted open. Every single person I met, I felt super connected to looked them dead in the eyes. I could see them for the love that they are. Um, I had a fabulous day at work and sleeping, uh, my mind was going and I noticed that everything I was thinking was more along positive rather than negative. So I really looked into my mind for that because I was writing things down and all this insight was coming in. And sleeping, I had a couple of vivid dreams. I'm not sure, I think a lot of people get vivid dreams with them. This time it wasn't a nightmare, which is amazing because the nightmares are scary as f But we need to go through it to come out the other side. So I'm super grateful for Tammy and providing me with the ayahuasca vine. And I love you all and have a beautiful day. Hi, um, my name is Rebecca and um, I have known Penny for a number of years, probably over 10 years now. And um, since she started this um, microdosing, I was really, really interested to get involved. And um, I saw her in a class sort of a few months ago and said, I'd really love to try it. Um, what are the, the benefits of it? Now, I wouldn't say that I was suffering with depression because I don't think I was. Um, I would say I probably suffered with quite a few low moods. Um, as a whole, over the years, I have been, I am a very positive person. I used to be a detective and I took a career break in 2016 and I changed career and I'm now, um, I do several job roles, but I run my own business. So I'm a mental health um, trainer. So I go around talking about mental health and so I'm really, really aware of my own mental health. So that's why I'm saying I wouldn't say I was depressed. Um, I would say that a number of years ago I did suffer with PTSD from a traumatic event, which um, I, it's taken me a long, long time to kind of understand and get to know. Um, and I was in a really good place, but I felt like I could be better. So I, uh, I spoke to Penny and said, do you think this could help? And um, obviously she said, absolutely, this is a really good thing for you to try, see how you get on. I'm really open to holistic therapies and I'm also quite conventional so I'm a little bit yin and yang I get torn and um, I started the microdosing and within a week I can't even explain it I felt amazing and it's really weird because I, as I said I didn't feel like I wasn't myself and I don't think I could put my finger on it and I know that gets said a lot people saying I can't put my finger on why um, I feel different but I genuinely can't, I just feel different and it's weird and um, I'm constantly on diets and exercising and um, I'm not confident with my body and I don't particularly like to expose it, however I went on holiday 
um, to Turkey for two weeks in a bikini and I posted pictures on Facebook to be body positive and I genuinely am. I feel like a massive change has come over me. I'm like, well, do you know what? This is me. This is my fat bum. Check it out. Deal with it. And I wouldn't have said I would have been able to do that had this been maybe, I don't know, just before I started the microdosing basically because I was on my 10 day break on the microdosing that I felt really confident and I've had so many really inspiring people um, say things to me saying oh do you know what I wish I had your confidence I wish I did this and I was thinking well where's that confidence come from because it was there many years ago but I'd say since suffering with PTSD my confidence really got knocked and I've been trying to get myself back and saying like where are you Becca I know you're in there somewhere but where are you and actually started microdosing and I almost i did ask the the plant for myself again i remember holding the plant and meditating and saying where are you again like where why aren't you here you're here but you're not and i genuinely feel like i am me again hi i'm john and i wanted to share my experiences with taking uh cappy pure vine drops i was uh, made aware of cappy drops sometime several months after my first ayahuasca ceremony and uh, I experimented with them. I didn't feel much. Uh, I immediately started tinkering with the dosage after my first week. Um, some people start with five to 10 drops on the site and some people get great, amazing results from that dosage. I did not. I had to go to a much higher dosage and um, still wasn't sure if anything I felt could be attributed to the drops. But um, after about six months, I'm at the place where I really believe um, that when I'm consistently taking the drops a week to two weeks in, I find myself uh, having emotions and tenderness that is not usually that close to the surface. Um, so it's improved my emotional capacity to feel, uh, which is good. That was one of my intentions going into my original ayahuasca ceremony. So I find the spirit of the plant is present and able to help us. Um, it's not really something that I think is ideal to be taken as a fix my problems, make me feel better now. It didn't really work that way for me anyways, but it may help you to get to the roots or closer to the roots of some of the issues that we have that can cause disease symptoms as well. So I'm happy with the experiences that I've had and uh, Tammy at Mystic Planet is fantastic and I've learned so much uh, from other people in the group and um, I, I look forward to continuing to work with this plant medicine and I would encourage any of you who are on the fence to give it a try and, and see what it can do for you. Thank you. My experience with microdosing. This is the cat's claw. So my experience with microdosing is cat's claw. Courtesy Los Cielos. And all of the Shipibos. Sylvie and Tyler. And here is the copy vine. So right now I'm just like, oh yeah, I gotta do microdose today, right? And, and then I was, you're supposed to hold it in your mouth here, under your tongue for a while. And then I was like, Oh, I should probably read you my testimonial because we're doing testimonials um, on our experience with copy line. So my experience with copy line is this. Hi, I'm Kelly. I live in the desert of Arizona in the United States. I've been using uh, capupirvine for about three months. I had fallen into a depression. All my life I was able to shower or bathe every other day. All of a sudden I was bathing myself maybe twice a week, which was very concerning to me. So anyway, um, I think the fog has lifted. The fog of depression has lifted um, and has brought a lot of changes. I. Um, my, I've started a new salon, so today you caught me on moving day. I've been at the salon for 10 years, and it was just time to make the move. Also, my son has moved out of my house. I've quit uh, drinking wine. I have more dreams, and I remember them. And another curious side effect is I quit wearing 
mascara. I started wearing mascara when I was like 13 or 14 because I have invisible eye eyelashes. So uh, that was an interesting change that I did not see coming. Anyway, I hope everyone gets to try Cappy because I think it's just brought some amazing changes to my life. I bought my Cappy Vine from Divine Spirit. I thought it would be quite subtle to begin with. Um, I took it out of curiosity really because um, I read all about the ceremonies but it's not really something that that I really want to do. I feel kind of quite scared of doing something like that. So microdosing seemed um, the perfect thing for me. Um, during the first week I already started to notice that I felt different. I couldn't really explain how um, but I do notice that I don't react so much. Um, I can feel quite detached from situations that, that I would find normally quite stressful um, or if people around me uh, may be arguing and I could, it's a bit like a mood hoover where I can pick up their moods. Um, I don't anymore, I can, I can just switch off um, and I can just feel much calmer. Um, I have noticed quite a profound effect and it's funny because I can't really quite put my finger on what it is. Um, I've only been taking it as a, for a month and I've had my 10 day break and now I've just started taking it again. Um, I just take about five drops in the morning. Um, I've taken it different times of the day to see if it would make any difference and um, it's almost like a, a cumulative effect. Um, I'd really like to maybe try one of the other things that I keep reading about with it just to see um, what difference it would make. Uh, it's, a, it's like an experiment really, it's really interesting to see um, how how I've reacted to something that's so, uh, or I expected to be so subtle um, and I'm really looking forward to seeing um, what this next month brings. Hi everyone, my name is Mariah Bryant and I was going to do a quick little video on my microdosing experience. So I started about a year ago um, and I noticed my improvements within the first time I microdosed. Um, so here's the thing, I was having problems with my anger and not knowing how to control it and it was really affecting my relationship with my husband. and. So I started microdosing in hopes to fix my anger to improve my relationship and basically it really helped. I feel like I don't get angry as easily and when I do get angry I don't blow up. I can handle it and know how to deal with situations. Um, altogether it has improved my relationship and also I've noticed that it seems like my husband was affected by it um, in ways that either either I just didn't get as angry with him or he has been acting differently towards me in ways that don't tick me off. And anyways, um, it has really helped with that. <laughs> I feel a lot happier all the time. I feel like my old self again. So that's my story. This is Sam in Nashville with a little rhyme for you. When I'm feeling anxious and depressed, I look to ayahuasca for a mental reset. These pure vine drops are perfectly legal, no DMT, and they're chock full of alkaloids, like harmaline. Ayahuasca is a sacred plant, our grandmother in the scheme of evolution. So respect the vine and set an intention for spiritual revolution. <laughs>